Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan. We are here today for the second episode ng Lamang Ang May Alam. So maraming katanungan na parang ang hirap makuha na ng sagot kasi nga kadalasan medyo wala tayong basis. Though there are basis pero some of those are uh, benchmark outside the country. So iba pa rin kasi yung mga uh, benchmark na nagagawa here in the Philippines compared to other country kasi nga po medyo may diferensya po tayo sa Uh, kumbaga may malaking difference in terms of uh, ambient temperature and then climate. So yan po yung sasagutin natin. Tutulungan po namin kayong mahanap po yung sagot by doing one of the most critical benchmark we've uh, done. Kasi medyo kakaiba po tong build na to. Kasi it's also the first time to have a build na AMD Threadripper, the best processor AMD can offer. 32 cores, 64 threads. And then the best video card, RTX 2080 Ti, MSI can offer. Yan din po yung nakalagay with this uh, uh, sakto lang na casing. It's not the best in terms of airflow pero it comes also with uh, good vent holes here. So kahit pa paano maganda na rin yung uh, uh, airflow niya. Pero it's not the best actually in terms of airflow. And then uh, yun, 64GB of RAM and uh, this build will be a burn test. So, sa tropa po natin to. So, I cannot swap items kasi hindi naman po sa akin. I don't have that 100,000 for the processor. Medyo hindi, mabigat po yung processor neto. So, um, as is po natin siyang test. alamin natin yung tanong na can air cooler for processor survive in the hottest place Here in the Philippines, kasi actually medyo mainit po talaga dito sa amin. Katabi lang po namin yung disyerto. And uh, ayun nga po, test natin dito. So it comes with this ambient temperature of uh, 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. So ganun po kainit. Wala pong aircon, wala pong uh, nakatutok na electric fan. Pure test ng air cooler kung kaya niyang mag-survive with this processor. So... Uh, to make the comparison better, we will be comparing benchmark from uh, one of those uh, uh, the most respected uh, tech reviewers, Linus and then Hardware Unbox. So meron po silang benchmark, kukunin po natin yun, hihiramin po natin yun para i-compare kung how is the temperature here in the Philippines compared to their region. Okay, so to make things uh, more exciting, of course, I will be showing you first some time-lapse uh, video on how this build was done and then at the end we will be showing you the benchmark Swerving through the palm trees on the dark side on the dark side oh Asians they got love 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 for a long time as a long long time Grab mode, I go fully, fully, fully automatic Bow. Two time zones, pesos in my pocket Wild, I don't know control cause I've been on What you ain't been on Made 
need the money, but I fly like a ballad song. Say goodbye, cause I ain't even gone. About to fuck, fuck, fuck this cash up. Fuck it, spend it on swerve. Swerving through the palm trees on the dark side. On the dark side. Oh, easy and say I love, love, love for a long time. That's a long time. Okay, so the benchmark alone have already answered our questions. Pinapakita niyo na po doon kung gaano kaganda yung performance ng Noctua air cooler at the same time how this this tiny CPU air cooler handles this processor in this kind of ambient temperature. So napakaganda po ng kanyang performance sa pinakita sa atin mga kaibigan. It, it didn't came to the point na parang kumbaga medyo red alert na or uh, we have done the uh, 100% load at the same time yung idle testing natin and you've seen in there that CPU air cooler is also effective here in the Philippines. Pero ang warning ko sa inyo mga kaibigan is eto po. The reason why I'm emphasizing this mga kaibigan is hindi po lahat tayo teki. So, CPU air cooler is recommended for those guys na medyo kabisado na po yung uh, system unit. Pero for those guys na medyo hindi pa ganun ka-familiar, it's better to go for an AIO. Performance-wise, same na same lang din po. And then, uh, may mga konting difference. Depende po yan sa model and brand. If uh, you will be going for a Noctua air cooler, of course, that is a better uh, performance compared to an ordinary generic AIO cooler. Pero if you will be going for a Corsair air AIO cooler, of course, it will be automatically better than any uh, air cooler or some uh, generic uh, air coolers. So, yun lang po. Um, and then, ang mahirap pa sa CPU air cooler, medyo mahirap siyang uh, bilhin, lalong-lalo na sa mga kasamahan natin na medyo hindi pa familiar. Pero maglalabas soon ako ng video on how to shop for your CPU air cooler. Kung anong dapat nyong i-consider in terms of uh, pipes, in terms of uh, materials. Kasi napakalaking bagay po yan. Napakalaki po ng difference na magkamali ka ng biniling CPU air cooler. Like, the last time na we did a build with this Gigabyte Aorus uh, CPU air cooler, sobrang init po ang kinalabasan ng kanyang processor. Intel Core i7-9700K pa man din. So, yun. Dapat kailangan uh, malalim na research. Not unlike with AIO na you need to have that uh, good brand. Yun lang yung kailangan mong i-consider. And uh, you can have now the best AIO na mabibili. Pero pag sa CPU air cooler, sometimes even the best brand in the market fails to provide the best air cooler or CPU air cooler. So that's it mga kaibigan. Hopefully nasagot ko yung isa sa mga katanungan natin. Tuto lang po kayo sa mga susunod pa nating episodes ng Lamang Ang May Alam. And of course, marami pa po tayong video na ina-upload weekly. So just keep posted, subscribe para mas dumami pa tayo and para mas marami pa tayong may upload na mga content para sa inyo and mga topics na may brought up from your comments. Kasi nga, syempre, kung nagko-comment kayo, dun din ako kumukuha ng pwede kong maging topic na susunod or pwede nating i-discuss on our next video. Alright, so that's it guys and thank you! <music>